So, who are the famous five and why do we need to learn about them? To begin, we need to go back to 1914. At this time, women were only allowed to vote in the Prairie Provinces and there was very limited jobs that women could hold. By 1918, at the end of the World War, um, women had taken on all sorts of new roles and responsibilities during this time. And so pretty much across Canada, they were allowed to now vote on the governments in Ottawa, as well as their provincial governments, with the exception of Quebec. The women in Quebec weren't allowed to vote until 1940. So after the war, women were allowed to start holding new positions. For example, they could train to become a doctor. There was one woman named Emily Murphy who became a judge. And in her role as judge, she was often faced with confrontation from men saying, you can't do this job, you're not a person. And at the time, the law stated that in Canada, only persons could hold government jobs. And under the law, persons were men. So Emily Murphy gathered a group of five women, herself, Nellie McClung, Henrietta Muir Edwards, Irene Parlby, and Louise McKinney. And they, Put together what was called the person's case and they brought it to the supreme court and were fighting for the right for women to be considered persons under the law and they got denied but they then took it to the highest court in the british empire and the judge decided that women were indeed able to be classified as persons which opened up a whole bunch of new jobs and paved the way for women to continue to play a role in government and canada's history